year of uncertainty, 1957, as Americans enjoyed all the spoils of their victory in World War II, they still expected death from the sky at any moment. Duck and cover fast, wherever you are. There's no time to look around or wait. There was continuing strife among the nation's scientists about the above-ground testing of nuclear weapons, because predicting the consequences of their use remained a dark art, dimly understood. You certainly had the scientific community beginning to see evidence that there was no part of the world that would remain untouched by the atmospheric testing. But in a desert city that styled itself a modern Sodom, where crime paid and calculated risk could reap fleeting rewards, the detonation of nearby atomic bombs wowed even the most jaded crowds. Oh, I remember us all running out of the hotels and watching the sky light up and standing out there because we didn't know any better. And everyone came out and we were in our little bouffant dresses and our spring later shoes and we watched the bomb go off and the whole sky lit up. We didn't think it was as devastating as it was, you know. We'd run out and watch an explosion. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? But um, we never gave it a lot of thought. I mean, my goodness, years later, look what happened. Duplicity in the defense of freedom seemed to be no vice in 1957 as many experts disguised their true misgivings about the effects of radioactive fallout for the sake of selling the public on the safe, humane, and sometimes even entertaining practices of atmospheric testing. Everyone was in town. All the photographers, all the big magazines were here. You know, it was a gigantic thing at that time when they did that testing. They did a beautiful public relations job and taking something that America was fascinated by and had never been able to see, and they marketed it very, very well. That spring, all the ecstasy of the atomic age seemed to be captured in the click of a shutter when one solitary Las Vegas showgirl was transformed into a lingering symbol of the fascination and abomination inspired by the image of the mushroom cloud. Today, when you talk to people about the photo, many people accept it as being exactly that, typical of the time period and nothing more. There are some people who find it very offensive, a mockery, in particular those who are downwinders. I've seen articles that they have written where they have said this nude woman only wearing this cotton cloud and how debasing that is. Uh, certainly the feminists find that picture offensive. So it seems as though people either accept it, find it fine, or really, really hate it, and nothing in between. <laughs> As a longtime nuclear scientist conducts his search for the whereabouts, or fate, of the lady who was also known as Miss Atomic Bomb, and her fellow dancers remember what a mystery she was, this story reveals why. In a year of uncertainty, people all over the United States crossed their fingers and hoped to survive.